All right, you guys. So we got more images coming from Toy Fair out of New York this weekend, which got started yesterday. Now, of course, we've already got a look at some of the six inch figures coming from the solo film. As you can see here, very impressive range trooper right there. And then, of course, Kiera right there as well. I want to thank toy arc for all of the new images that we receive they are a great source for toy news so please do check them out go to the website and check them out and we're going to get a look at some of the new images here so first up we are going to get a look at our micro force line uh, this is actually the first that i'm hearing of this line but still very cool nonetheless probably will not be collecting this particular line and then of course in our 3.75 poa line we have a very cool set complete with Ray, Rose, and a couple of First Order Troopers. And then here we get a very cool Empire Strikes Back set here with Leia, Luke, and the Wampa. Absolutely cool set and definitely will be picking this up. This is a very cool set with Han Solo and Chewie. I'm assuming this is going to have something to do where he rescues Chewie or frees him from enslavement. So very, very cool set there. Can't wait to get that. This is a very cool set as well, complete with Lando. It's a two-piece set, actually. Lando and this gunner here, which I don't have a name for. Uh, here we get another look at the range trooper. Very, very cool. And then here we get a new look at the new force link which enables the characters to speak it will also provide us with the sounds for the new falcon now on to our black series figures guys and some of these may be a mixture of 3.75 and uh the six inch figures guys but of course we have our porgs there we have princess leia right here looking very very cool we also have Kiera right here from the solo film. We've seen this figure uh, right here, but very impressive, especially with the face scope right there. Awesome, awesome looking figure. And then, of course, we have our cool looking Lando all laid back, sitting back right there, just cocked to the side, just looking totally awesome. Uh, a, a fan favorite character right there already. Of course, our range trooper there in the Black Series uh, with the fur coat. Uh, just as pimped out as Lando right there. Very, very cool figure. It's going to be a highly sought after figure, I'm assuming. And then, of course, we have Han himself, uh, young Han, uh, looking cool and uh, obviously will be a part of the collection just on GP. So very awesome looking figure right there. Cannot wait to get this wave of Black Series figures. And then we get our first look at Tobias Beckett here, played by Woody Harrelson. Very cool. A lot of references to Han Solo's outfit in that figure right there. So very, very awesome and very impressive face sculpt as well. And then, of course, we get Commander Woo! Looking absolutely awesome with the scar over the eye. Just amazing detail in the armor, the weathering, the helmet. Uh, cannot wait to get this figure. Uh, definitely, definitely one of my most anticipated figures right here uh, for uh, the next wave of Black Series inch figures. Very awesome. So next we have Dangar right here looking totally awesome next to Tarkin uh, a part of our bounty hunter set so definitely this one's going to get a place in the collection we have Zuckus right here looking totally awesome uh, love the outfit love the uh, painting patterns uh, in the outfit uh, like kind of a rust color very very cool and very awesome and then of course we have our for Lum figure right here, another bounty hunter. We are getting bounty hunters in the next few waves of figures, guys. So very exciting. And then, of course, we have Lando in his Jabba the Hutt outfit where he goes undercover uh, to find Han. So, of course, that is also a very highly anticipated figure right here. And then, of course, we have our Jabba the Hutt guard as well as our Holdo figure right there. Um, so we are getting a lot of cool figures in the upcoming waves. Awesome looking Holdo right there. Uh, love the purple hair. Uh, just very, very awesome looking figure. And then again, we have our Princess Leia figure for the Black Series line. And then here we have our Battle Damaged R2. Uh, very cool looking weathering on uh, this R2. And I believe he comes as a part of a three-part set here uh, with his little buddies here. Uh, so very cool, very awesome. Definitely want to pick up those three droids uh, when they become available. 
Our next centerpiece set is going to be Kylo, where he holds the blast in place on Jakku. Very cool looking set. Hopefully they will give us a light up blaster along with the light up blast there uh, on the set there. So very, very cool looking centerpiece. And of course, for you bucket heads, we are going to get Darth Vader here, guys. So all you bucket head collectors, you have something to look forward to here. Very awesome. And we're also going to get our riot baton uh, as seen in the fourth awakens guys so a uh, very cool uh collectible item right here not sure if i'm gonna get it but very cool and then i also decided to include this nerf stormtrooper blaster uh love the detail on it and uh, i think this uh, is a pretty cool item very cool and then, of course, we're going to get into our Vintage line, guys. So, of course, we have Zuckus that will be made available for the Vintage line. We also have our Trooper right here. Uh, very cool looking. We also are going to get the Range Trooper in this wave or in, in that Vintage collection. We are going to get Jabba's Guards right here as well. Very, very awesome. Love this figure with the cake right there. Uh, very reminiscent to... Uh, Phasma and then of course we're gonna get our droids as well with R2. We are going to get Ray uh, Right there. Very very cool island Ray. Uh, we are going to get commander wolf in the vintage line Which is absolutely awesome uh, Snoke is going to be made available in the vintage line, which is cool. We'll go with the playset uh, And then we also are going to get our Jedi Master Luke uh, in the vintage line as well as Dr. Afra uh, is going to be made available in the vintage line and then of course we have Han Solo which again will be available in the vintage line we are also going to get vintage vehicles we're going to get the Imperial Combat Assault Tank as seen in Rogue One very very cool definitely will be picking this up I love the vehicles in the Star Wars universe so this is a must have item for me very very awesome and and then, of course, another must-have item is going to be our do-back uh, that's going to be available in the 6-inch Black Series line. So that's very cool. We're going to get a 6-inch do-back uh, with Trooper. Very, very awesome. And then to complete our vehicles in the 3.75 line, we're going to get the Millennium Falcon. Uh, very cool item. Um, not really up to the specs that I would prefer. Uh, the seating uh, compartment is not all that great. However, um, I do like the design of this Falcon, so I may pick it up just for that as well. But guys, the holy of holies, the ultimate, the maximum right here is going to be the HasLab Jabba Sail Barge. Absolutely astounding news with this right here. And this could go a very long way in providing us with the type of vehicles and the proper scale that we've been looking for. Now, again, guys, this is going to be a 3.75 size vehicle. However, it is a very, very large vehicle, as you can see. And we're going to get a look at some of the uh, live action still photos that were taken from uh, the Toy Fair. Uh, so as you can see, this is a very, very large vehicle, uh, but it will fit your 3.75 figures. Uh, the vintage collection is going to go very, very well with this. Uh, I know you can see this thing sitting in your hobby room uh, on your shelf. It is just absolutely awesome looking. And uh, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. As a matter of fact, guys, I did go ahead and pre-order this particular item. Uh, it is coming with a price tag of $499.99. So basically $500. Um, now, the thing that uh, or how this is going to particularly work is uh, when you pre-order, they are looking to get as many as 5,000 pre-orders and up. Uh, once they reach 5,000 pre-orders, uh, this thing will go into production. So very, very cool. And then if for some reason they do not reach that number, I believe uh, the uh, time limit on that is going to be for April uh, 1st of this year. So if they don't reach 5,000 uh, pre-orders for this thing, um, it, it will not get produced. Now, the reason why I mention all of that or why that is so key here, why it's so, so important is we consistently hear collectors complain about not getting vehicles in the proper size. Now, one thing that we have to understand as collectors, it costs a lot of money to produce these vehicles at this particular scale. And of course, Hasbro has to pass the cost on to the consumer. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because a couple of years ago, we did get the ATACT remote vehicle. 
which was a fairly large scale vehicle, however, not quite to the size of the Legacy, which was one of the complaints from a lot of collectors. And then also the price point of $300 was a bit too steep for a lot of collectors. Now, for us to get vehicles in this size, uh, guys, you're going to have to understand these vehicles are going to cost a pretty penny. Uh, as you can see, this vehicle is going to cost about $500. And if we want to get these type of vehicles uh, at this particular scale, uh, we're going to have to pay the cost uh, to get these vehicles. And that's why I don't have a problem with the $500 price tag on this particular vehicle, because I mean, if it's something that you really want, uh, price should never be an issue. And of course, with me uh, to get this vehicle in this scale, uh, price is definitely not an issue. Now, I know that's going to sound a bit harsh, guys, but you have to put your money where your mouth is, guys. If you want to get vehicles in this particular scale, uh, we are going to have to pay for them. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, what you saw like that three quarter, three and a quarter size Falcon, um, which is very much inferior to vehicles such as this. Um, so if you want to get better vehicles, guys, we're going to have to pay the cost, uh, which again, I do not have a problem with. And, uh, that's just my small little commentary right there. So looking very much forward to getting this vehicle. If it does happen to make production, I think right now they're at about 500 pre-orders, uh, at the moment. So, uh, they have a little bit more than a month and a half, I believe to get that up to 5,000. So we will see, uh, if this, uh, has lab program will work, but if it does work, we can see see more vehicles like this in the future which will make a lot of us toy collectors extremely extremely happy so very very cool so guys let me know which figure or item are you most anticipating for 2018 is it lando is it dr afra is it rex is it the imperial tank trooper with tank very awesome vehicle is it the jabba barge are you going to be paying the 500 dollar price tag for that three and a quarter size vehicle guys let me know put those comments down below i will be checking those comments and responding to those comments guys so guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and of course guys from the droids to the figures to the Jabba Sail Barge. May the force be with you always.